Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my very first ever Halloween clean and decorate with me. I am so excited for this. I've never in my life decorated for Halloween, but with the year being crazy and just what it's been, I wanted to kind of do a little bit extra this year and just kind of make our house really fun and festive for the kids. So that's what we're going to do today. So first, I'm going to be, of course, cleaning everything up and just making sure that we are starting with a clean slate. And then we are going to start pulling all of my Halloween decorations out and just start decorating for Halloween this year. And then once we have everything nice and clean and decorated, we are going to hop into the kitchen and I'm going to share three different Halloween inspired recipes. They are all super easy, super fun, and very Halloween inspired. So I'm really excited to share those with you guys, but we have a lot to get done. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say yeah. So I feel like I used to always start in the kitchen and lately I have been kind of starting in other areas of the house just because I feel like my motivation has been a little bit lower than normal. And so I think today I'm gonna kind of switch it up and we are going to start in the kitchen, which is definitely the messiest part of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and start in here and just get everything nice and clean. And hopefully that can really kind of get my motivation going and just keep me propelled in going forward with cleaning everything else up. So let's get the kitchen nice and tidied. So like I had mentioned, this was my very first Halloween clean and decorate with me. I have never really gone all out with Halloween decorations before. Usually I will just get maybe a few things here and there and just decorate like one tiny area in the house for the kids. But just with this year being what it's been, I wanted to go a little bit extra for the kids and just surprise them. On this day, Kyle had actually taken them out. I'm not sure even where they went. They just wanted to have some fun boy time and I knew that I wanted to get the house decorated. So I took advantage of that time and just really started focusing on getting everything nice and cleaned and decorated so you'll actually get to see a little bit later on in the video once I'm all done decorating the kids response and the kids reaction to how everything was decorated and I just love that it just totally makes my day seeing our kids and just how excited they are but you'll have to let me know if you have ever decorated for Halloween or if it's something that you typically do or don't decorate for like I said this is my very first year doing this but I think from here on out I'm probably going to start decorating for Halloween every year just because it really was so much fun to do this for not only the kids, but also myself and Kyle have just really enjoyed it as well. So I wanted to take just a second to share about this Lazy Susan, I couldn't think of what it was called, but I get questions about this Lazy Susan all the time, probably every single time I show like our dining room in my videos, but I actually got it from my mom from Costco last fall, but I just got their brochure in the mail. They have this back in stock, at least at some Costco's, and I think it's online too, but it's actually on sale right now. So if you have been wanting this like really nice, good size Lazy Susan, it is at Costco. So I would highly suggest going and checking it out. I know my mom got it pretty early on in the season and they sold out quick. So I would hurry and grab that if that's something that you're interested in, but I have had mine a year now and I love it still. Enemies. No, you don't mind the way I stand my words. 
So I do always try to link things for you guys, especially the items that I always get questions about. And one of the items that I'm always getting asked about are black silverware. We have had them for several months and I've loved them ever since. They've all held up really nicely and they're not chipping or scratching. And so I'm definitely happy to recommend them. They are from Amazon and I do have them saved in my Amazon favorites, which is always linked in the description box below. So if you're like me and you've been kind of looking for a good set of black silverware, I would highly recommend the set that we have. And like I said, it will be linked in my Amazon favorites down below. So I recently ordered a new sink station. I'll let you guys know how I like it. So I wanted to kind of set this new one up and see how I like it. I might go back to my original setup here, but we'll just kind of see. I feel like this one is going to be a little bit different, but it's also going to be a little bit more minimal. And so I think that might be nice, but I'll show you guys. I'll turn you around and show you what it is. Okay, so like I said, this is what I've always had for a really long time where I have my stoneware tray, bubble up sponge dish, bubble up dish brush set. And this is from Grove Collaborative. And then these bottles are actually from Target. They're oil and vinegar bottles, but I just take the top off and then I use them as dish soap bottles. And then I also get a ton of questions about this, so it's super random, but this is a hot water heater. So we installed that ourselves. And then this is what I ended up getting. So right here, this is just a stoneware tray. It's basically the same thing. Thing, but a little bit different shape and then on top you have this little dish station caddy so right here you can actually put one of these brushes and then you can set like a sponge right here and then I'm thinking I might end up putting my dish soap right here so I could end up putting that right there and have it kind of like that then I'd have my brush and also for anyone wondering all of this stuff aside from the dish soap containers. I get it all from Grove Collaborative. I do have a link down below in case if you're interested in checking it out. It gives you a bunch of like free goodies the first time you order and then you can just either do auto ship or order as you want but I will leave that link down below but let's go ahead and get this set up so that we can finish cleaning and get to decorating. I feel like a majority of the time I end up just using our e-cloths just to clean off our countertops really quickly but I have found a spray recently I've actually gotten it in the past and I found it again this year and it is the Honeycrisp Apple from Method I believe it is but that scent is so amazing. They have it in dish soaps, they have it in sprays, and it just smells so perfect for fall. So I have always said that the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent was my favorite, but I kind of feel like I'm kind of changing over to the Honeycrisp apple for method. It is just so fresh and so bright. I love, love, love this scent. But comment down below with what your favorite fall scent is whether it's a cleaning product or if you don't have a favorite cleaning product scent, if you just have a favorite fall scent, is it cinnamon, is it apple? I tend to love both of them, but I definitely tend to shy away from the florals and I just love sticking with the warm apple scents. Been here a thousand times, 
set up a stage of lies Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we cut back Acting drunk even though we're sober the kitchen is looking really nice and really shiny so now we are going to move on to the living room but before we do that i want to show you how the little kittens are doing in the other room i walked in for a second and they are sleeping passed out so cute so i'm gonna show you really quick and then we're gonna hop on into the living room If you have followed either over on Instagram or if you've been here for a while, you've probably heard me talk about it mostly over on the community tab here on YouTube. But Kyle's dad got into a really, really bad motorcycle accident a month and a half ago, maybe, and he is doing okay, thank goodness. We weren't really sure for a while, but now he is in a rehabilitation center for a while. And so while he is staying there, we have his dog, which is Hank. So Hank is not here permanently. He has just been staying with us for the last month and a half or two months. I don't even know, I've lost track of time, but so we do only have, not only, but we do have four cats and then one dog, Emma, but temporarily we do have Mr. Hank there. So anyway, enough about all of the animals, time to get to clean in because I'm totally procrastinating. Would you be cause we're scared of the silence? We should be good, but we'll keep out of fire. We keep on talking and talking, talking and talking. So anytime I show our dog Emma in my videos, you guys are always asking to show her more. And a lot of you ask like where she's at when I'm cleaning and usually if the boys are home, she's always right next to them. She is completely obsessed with Kyle specifically, but she loves all of the boys so, so much. So anytime they're home, she is just at their feet, at their side, just hanging out with them. And so usually that's what she's doing when I'm filming. But like I'd mentioned earlier, Kyle and the boys were actually gone during this time. And so she had nobody else to hang out with but me. So as I was editing this, it was just so funny seeing both of the dogs just follow me around everywhere I went. They are definitely super, super sweet dogs. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. How could I know there was no second chance? Like dominoes, my life got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in Cause I've been stone cold Since you left me here So come home Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell It got me stone cold You guys know I'm always sharing real life moments and just keeping everything really real with you guys. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you how everything looks right now and look at how clean everything looks. And then I'm gonna show you up close of our floors and show you how you guys don't see so much even when things are right in front of you just because the camera does not pick up stuff. Just because you are seeing something on camera, do not judge yourself and feel like, wow, they really have it together and I'm a total mess because I guarantee you every single person has something that you're not really seeing that's not really clarified in the camera. And so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you that just so we can all be totally real with each other. Okay, so everything is all nice and vacuumed and I feel like it looks very nice and clean, but let me just show you some up closes. So if you walk over here, you can see like 
you can even feel like this is raised off the floor how much like dirt is on here and it's stuck and it's this whole entire big area but when you come back you can still kind of see it but it almost just looks like the rest of like the knots in the wood let me find another one. Okay, so this is obviously not our floor, but look at how dirty that handrail is. But look, when you come back here, it just looks totally nice and perfect. You come up close and you see how it really is. I know I show that stuff to you guys a lot, but I just like to share that not Obviously, I don't love airing my dirty laundry or airing like oh look at how messy my house is <laughs> Really, you know, but I just think it's so much more important than putting on like a perfect picture and the perfect face like oh Everything is perfect here. I just think it's so much better to be real with you guys and just let you guys know We are really truly so much more alike than we all feel and I guarantee you, nobody has the perfect life. Nobody has the cleanest house. Everything is just a work in progress. So I hope that that helps you just feel a little bit better. I know sometimes when I see things like that, it helps me. So I hope that that can do the same for you guys today. But we are almost done. All I have to do pretty much, I think, is a quick dusting and mop. And we're ready to start decorating. Yay! I went by your house, what a big mistake. To clean our floors, I'm just using my E-Cloth Aqua Spray Mop. I swear by this mop, I feel like it works so, so well. And if you've been a part of my YouTube family for a while, you know that mopping is one of my least favorite chores ever. And so anything that can get me to mop a little bit more often is such a winner in my book. And this mop definitely has made that possible just because it is so incredibly hassle-free. Okay, to start, I actually got a little <laughs> witch hat. I just thought it would be kind of fun to get a little festive for while well, I'm decorating for Halloween, and I picked it up at the Target dollar spot, so I figured, why not? And now I pretty much have a costume for <laughs> Halloween this year. So we'll see if it ends up staying on my head, but there we go, I'm a witch. So this is something that I got that I figured I could dress up any type of fall decor that I have with just this little spider webbing. And so I really like this sign. I actually think I'm going to try to keep it here and kind of make it a little bit spooky and you know whatever now that i have these other two items up there i'm not really sure if it's gonna work but we'll see
shirt. So I've kind of played around with this and I feel like I actually really, really like it. It still kind of has that touch of fall because it has the pumpkin patch in there. So like a very fall soft sign but then it has all the webbing around it. And so it's just kind of like Halloween is taking over fall. That's kind of how the vibe is right now. And I'm kind of loving it. It's just really, really different than I've ever done. And so it's just a lot of fun. I think the kids are gonna be super excited when they see it. I feel like I say this every single time I share a decorating video or one of my makeover videos, but I know a lot of you say that you get overwhelmed or you just cannot decorate space as well. And I would urge you to just keep at it because honestly, it just is so much trial and error and just seeing what feels right and what looks right in the end. I pretty much never start decorating a space and everything gets put perfectly the first time. I usually am just kind of like pulling things in, pulling things out and kind of moving them around until it all feels right. So keep at it, whatever space you're working on next, and I'm sure it will turn out amazing when you're done. So just if you are struggling with things, like I was feeling like that looked very incomplete a minute ago. And I think once I added the table runner, it just pulled everything together. This was just reusing the table runner that I had on our table previously. I have a different one for Halloween, but it really is amazing. Just changing up like one or two little things can make a huge impact. And so like, just like that, like the table runner totally pulled it together and make it made it look really, really finished. I love this. You guys all know what movie that's from. I actually did not see that movie until a few years ago. Kyle had me watch it and we've just loved it ever since Kyle's grown up watching it. So anyway, I'm loving like this little Halloween scene. It's totally different because usually I'm trying to make everything look really, really pretty and soft and Halloween is not pretty or soft. So I'm kind of doing my best to still make it enjoyable for me, but mostly fun for the kids. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you're thinking so far. One of the biggest things I got was, it's under here actually, but pillow covers. That is something that can completely transform everything, but because I have all of this just kind of sitting on the couch, I'm going to do that later on. So for now, we're going to move into the kitchen and then also the foyer area. Okay, so I saw this hack on Instagram a while back and i have never tried it but it looks like it worked so all you do is you take your ribbon where you want to hang it and then you're going to open the door and actually use a stapler to like staple the ribbon into the top of the door so it's not going to damage the door like the top but you won't see that at all ever usually i hang this up with command strips but because this one actually i'll show you this one actually has a little thing right here that you can turn on i just have to put batteries in it and it lights up because of that, I want to obviously hide the box behind the door. And so I'm going to be using the ribbon that it came with and I just tied it a different way so that I can use that to actually staple the ribbon to the door. So I'm just going to kind of place this where I want it to go. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but we'll give it a try. Stapled in. That worked super good. I did two staples, one on each side, and it looks like it's like it's secure. Nothing else is holding it up, so maybe that worked really well. So dish towels are something that I always decorate for the season. I feel like it makes a huge, huge difference and it's something that's so affordable and easy to do. Another thing that I've found kind of recently over the past few months is a tiered tray. I know I'm a little bit late to the game on this one, but it's something that you can buy your tiered tray once and then just kind of buy a few little trinkets here and there, perfect from either Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar Spot. So it can be really affordable to decorate these for the season and it's something that's so fun to just kind of put your own spin on the season and add just a little fun and flair to your space without having to go all out. on my 
Alright, I know I am probably one of the only YouTubers that does a clean and decorate with me and does not do a huge tablescape. And that's just because I want to keep it really, really practical. We actually sit down at our table almost every night for dinner. And so because of that, I don't want to be like removing a bunch of chargers and a bunch of place settings and like a whole big tablescape, which I will admit looks gorgeous when they are done, but it's just not practical for us. And so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do instead of that, but still to kind of make this festive. So I have put a table runner with like spider webs and stuff like that, but I'm also gonna do a few other things in our little fruit dish bowl lazy susan thing to make it a little bit more festive and still kind of tie in with the decor so i'm going to show you that right now so the first thing that i did was i actually got these pumpkins they have it almost looks like a little tattoo or something on them if you can't find them you can make them yourself but they are real pumpkins and they were just at our local grocery store in the produce section this one says boo yell this one has little bats and then this one is one of my favorites it has like a little spider web with I can't believe I'm saying this, but almost a cute little spider. <laughs> and so just setting these on or next to like an area like this, like with a fruit can make a huge difference. And then I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. We have fruit in here, obviously. So one of the fruits that we always have is oranges and do they not look like pumpkins? So I'm actually going to just take a marker and draw little pumpkin faces on all of the oranges that we have so that it's still practical, we can still eat them. It's just on the skin that you're gonna peel, but it also is now kind of like Halloween because it's decorated like little jack-o'-lanterns, like little pumpkins. Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than that. We're flying high. Somewhere up in the clutch. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a Those little orange pumpkins were so fun. I did not I really expect them to be as big of a hit as they were, but I feel like our boys have actually started eating the oranges a little bit more often because they are just like fun and exciting for them to eat now, even though all I did is draw some pumpkin faces on them. So this ended up being a little bit of a bonus for me and having my kids eat a little bit more fruit. But either way, it's just really fun to see those little pumpkin faces on the oranges every time we walk by the kitchen. But here I'm just starting to kind of decorate the couch. I've told you guys so many times, but I love finding my pillow covers from Amazon and I'm going to link some of my favorite pillow covers down below, but they are so affordable on Amazon, especially if you just get some inserts or if you even already have some throw pillows, you can even just put pillow covers over the pillows that you already currently have and it's such a cheaper way to change out your pillows each season and it also is way nicer to store just a few pillow covers versus storing full pillows. This is something that I got from Amazon and it's super cool because they're actually little bats. There's just a bunch of little bats. They can stick on to wherever so you can totally make like a fun Halloween scene. They have all different sizes of bats and then they have these little stickies that you can put on. So I'm thinking I might put just a few on the mirror just to kind of make this a little spookier too.
So this is super subtle, but I think it's just so fun just having like different sized bats there. It just kind of adds a little bit of a spooky touch. I almost might move them and so that they're more like up at the top, just so they're not just like right in the middle. I think I might do that really quick, but I think they're really fun. And I think they were around $10 for the whole pack. And I wanna say there's like 70 or 100 bats in there of all different sizes, so super fun. What do you guys think? Whoa! Mom, look at the mirror in the back! Oh, the spider web! The spider web! Oh, that's cool. You like it? Mom, look at this! Whoa! I just have to keep doing it! And the pillows! And the pillows, there's ghosts on the pillows! Yeah. And look at this one! I think they're all chocolates except that one's a caramel. Mm. I want a caramel too. You want a caramel? Look! What? Look! Look! Whoa! What do you guys think? You like it? I like it a lot. We've never decorated like this for Halloween never, before. Yeah. Mama, I heard you change all these pillows to be like Halloween pillows. Yeah. And you want to know what? Huh. The kittens are perfect for Halloween. I know the kittens are perfect. It's orange and black. Yeah. Benji's orange and Felix the black. <laughs> Okay, so it is actually the next day now. Once everybody got home, we just kind of got a little bit distracted. We ended up getting dinner and it just got busy. So I put the camera down and I decided I'm going to make the recipes all today. But because we were doing some really fun Halloween recipes, I wanted to include the kids in this. So I told each of the boys what recipes we're making today and they each got to pick which one they wanted to help me with. So first we are going to start with Noah and we're going to be making some pumpkin oat cookies. They are so delicious. They're almost like, they're less of like a sugary treat and just more of a healthy snack, but still a cookie, so they go over really, really well. But that's what we're gonna start out with today. Well, are you ready to make some pumpkin cookies? Mm -hmm. First we need oats, pumpkin puree, maple syrup. You know what else we need? Ah. Chocolate chips. Okay, put that up. Oats. Okay, oats. <laughs> Chocolate chips. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Pumpkin. Syrup. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. You got one of those pumpkin oranges? Wobble, 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 Mm -hmm. 
This recipe could not be easier. All you have to do is add all of your ingredients into a big mixing bowl and then stir them all up until they are completely combined. It will be a bit of a drier batter, so it does take a little bit to mix together. But once you have everything mixed together nicely, you're just going to start forming little cookies and put on a cookie sheet. And then you will bake it in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Looking at me, what we do, what we do, we need that. This is looking pretty good. Perfect. Once you have them all formed like this, you are going to pop them into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. We are going to get started with our next recipe, which is kind of a recipe. It's kind of more of just like instructions on how to make a really easy, super simple treat. But I've made these for years, but I've never made a Halloween version. So all we're doing to make these Halloween is we're adding candy corn to the top. So we're just gonna be taking some pretzel bites, adding some little hugs, like the Hershey's Kisses hugs, the white chocolate ones. And then we are going to put a piece of candy corn on top and they're super yummy. These are perfect to gift. These are just fun to add into like a special trail mix type thing. If you want like a Halloween trail mix or you can just have them as they are. Any way you eat them, they're delicious. Just know they're very addicting. So be cautious of that. But I'm gonna grab Liam and we're gonna get started with that one. All right, so all we have to do to start is take the pretzels and just set them out on one row, okay? Yeah, you can and if you find like a broken one like this, we will just take that one out. We won't use that one, okay? Yeah, you can eat it. We're running out. Are we? Mm -hmm. Alright, so once you have all of your chocolates set onto the pretzels, onto your baking sheet, then you're going to pop them in a 250 degree oven for just four minutes. You really don't want to leave them in there long at all. It's going to be just long enough to let the chocolate softly melt onto the pretzels, and then we're going to add our candy corn. Once these come out of the oven after the four minutes, we are going to just start putting some candy corns right onto the top of them. And I know it looks like the chocolate is not melted because they're still formed, but as soon as you start putting these on, they will just completely melt down into like a little ball. And see how I'm just so softly squishing it down like that? Perfect. The last thing that you need to do is just let them set. So you're just going to let all the chocolate cool and just kind of harden back up. 
you can either do this on the counter, which is totally fine, it does take a little bit more time, or you can transfer them to a cool cookie sheet or like our cookie sheet is actually cool now. So then we can just stick this right into the fridge and it will cool a lot quicker, but it's just kind of like depending on your timing, if you want it to happen a little bit faster or if you're fine to wait. So we are probably going to pop these into the fridge and just let them cool for a few and then we will be done with it. The last recipe that we're going to do is kind of just a Halloween twist on a normal recipe that you might already be making, but it's going to be chicken and rice stuffed peppers. A lot of people just make stuffed peppers. You can make it with chicken, you can make it with turkey, whatever. So I've already made the salsa chicken. I've shared how to make salsa chicken in the past, but I will add a recipe card right here as well in case if you have not ever made it or you missed that video that I shared. So I'm going to be adding that salsa chicken in with some Mexican rice that I'm going to be making, and then we're going to add them into some orange bell peppers but we are going to have a Halloween twist on this and just make them really fun and festive. So since I had Noah help me with the pumpkin cookies and I had Liam help make the pretzel treats, I'm having Luke help me with this one. It's a little bit more difficult, not that it's hard at all, just the other two were extremely easy. And so I'm going to have Luke come up here and just help me out with this recipe just because he is a little bit older and he really enjoys being in the kitchen with me just helping me cook. So I'm going to call him up and then we will get started with that recipe. Okay, the first thing that we're going to be making for this dish is the Mexican rice. So I'm gonna have Luke tell you what all we need for that. You're going to need some garlic powder. We are going to need some chicken broth, some rice, some diced tomatoes and green chilies, some cumin, and some taco seasoning. So I will share how to make it on the stove top, but we do have a rice maker and it helps you from not burning our rice. So we are just going to add everything into the rice maker, stir it all up, turn it on, and then kind of let that work itself out while we start making the rest of the stuff. So for the rice, we are just adding everything into our rice cooker and then stirring it up and then just cooking it under the white rice setting on our rice cooker. But if you were cooking this on a stove top, you would use the same ingredients that I shared in the recipe card, which is also all over on my website at thiscrazylifeblog.com. And then you just want to add that into a stock pot and cook it until it starts to boil, then reduce the heat and simmer, put the lid on it and cover it, and just let that cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or so. So next we are grabbing our peppers. We're just going to start by rinsing them off. Then we're just going to cut the tops off of them, just kind of like pumpkins. Then we're actually going to carve kind of like a little jack-o'-lantern face into each of them so that they look like pumpkins. It'll be like a Halloween. Kind of like how peppers. you do with pumpkins. Yeah. Like however you normally do your pumpkin, you do that except for the peppers. Yeah. And you want to kind of cut so that you don't cut the top off. So imagine mm -hmm. like where that top's gonna be. And mm -hmm. we're gonna cut it down a little bit. And then once you get that, to a twist it. Okay, now that we have our little jack-o'-lanterns cut out and emptied out on the inside, we are going to add them into our pot of boiling water for about five minutes, just enough to let them kind of soften up because then they won't burn in the oven, but they'll also be cooked fully through. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do next. So normally at this point we would be cooking up the chicken, but because I already have it cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and add it into a pot just to kind of heat it up and that way we don't have to fully heat it up in the oven. 
and it will just go a little bit quicker. And this is the salsa chicken that I had made yesterday. All I did is I made it in our instant pot, but you can make this on the stove top. You can also make this in a crock pot and you can honestly just cook this however you want and you can season it how you want. I want to name this guy with the square eyeball. Uh, his name is going to be Jeff. And this guy's name is going to be Gerald. Gerald? Yeah, Gerald. Jeff and Gerald. We Jeff have to name Gerald. the other two. This guy will be um, Oscar. Oscar. And then this one will be... Here, here. I know how we can name him. Whatever the most like comment on this video is, that's what his name is. So we got Jeff. Gerald, Oscar, and then whatever you guys decide to vote. And then, this one, and then this guy is gonna have a unique name. Okay. All right, now we are just heating up all of this chicken, like I said that I had made the other day, and then we're gonna add the rice and the black beans, um, and you can I'm just add those right what, into it. I'm curious to see what the most like comment will be. I know. <laughs> what his name will be. <laughs> that makes me curious. So another thing to keep in mind, if you don't want to make your rice from scratch, they have tons of Mexican style rices at the store that are just in the pouch. You can make it like that, totally easy. It's really easy since we have the rice cooker. I feel like it takes a lot of the work out. Kind of a funny story about the rice cooker and how I got it is I told Kyle years ago that I wanted a vegetable steamer. So I was just talking about like the, almost like a strainer that goes inside the pot. And he went on Amazon and ordered the rice cooker that said it had a vegetable steamer in it, which it has like the vegetable, that white thing is the vegetable basket. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like I was really happy that he did that for me, but I was like, that wasn't really what I was thinking of. And so I ended up trying it out. And ever since then I've been like, we have to have a rice cooker. It cooks our rice so perfect, so easy. And you can also do a lot of other things with it too. So we just kept it. It was just funny because it was like a total accident that I ended up getting a rice cooker and not just a little vegetable steamer basket, but we love it. That's kind of lucky, like, like, <laughs> like you were wanting a vegetable steamer, but you ended up getting a rice cooker. But then you actually try it out and you're just like, okay. Yeah. Like I, whenever we move, we need to get another one. <laughs> yeah, it ended up being, well, it's the same one. I've only ever had the one. Suggestion, if you cook rice like a lot, like how we do, like a lot, yeah. then, um, Totally get a rice cooker, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, this is how everything's looking so far. I feel like this looks so delicious. Now this is optional, you can add in some cheese to this or you can leave it like this. I think we're gonna add a little bit of cheese in. The last thing that we have to do is just take our filling that we've made, put it into the peppers, and then we are going to bake it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. This recipe is so much fun. We love stuffed peppers in our house anyway. So kind of adding a little bit of a Halloween twist onto this was just a lot of fun for us. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And if you make any of these recipes, I would love for you to tag me over on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween clean and decorate with me. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. I would love to have you join our YouTube family and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.